3CX Extensions. Hello and welcome to a new 3CX tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about the extensions. To create an extension, you'll need to log in to the Management Console. Then, you must click on the Extensions menu option, on the left part of your screen. This page will allow you to create new users, known as extensions. Click on the Add button. Here, you need to fill the user information to create the user properly. There are some things to have in mind before creating the extension. For organization purposes, you can change the number of the extension according to the area or field that the user is going to belong to. For example, extensions starting with 1, could belong to sales department, and extensions starting with 2, could belong to technical department. Set the first and last name. Then, fill the email address. This is where the user is going to receive the welcome email to access the web client. Also, the mobile number and the outbound caller ID, which will be the phone number that will see who receives calls from this extension. This applies only to external calls. Let's see what else we can set in an extension. In the window, just by the general tab, there is the voicemail. This is an important feature that we will check in another video. We can find also forwarding rules. Phone provisioning. BLF, that apply for IP phones. Options for specific settings for the extension. Rights, to grant privileges on the platform. And click to talk and click to meet. In this video, we are going to set only basic features needed to use your extension properly. We have already completed the general settings. There is a tab called options, where you will find the restrictions of the extension, from blocking calls, to disabling the extension. Call recording. We are going to see this in another video. And more options for the admin to change, depending on the user that is going to use this extension. Going up, we will find the rights, just by the options tab. This is an important feature, as you can grant user or manager rights, although you can set specific rights as you see necessary for the role of the user. Going down, we can grant the user access to the management console. Once again, it depends on the role of this user. By clicking on OK, you will finally create the extension and the new user. In order to send the email with the authentication credentials, you need to select the extension, and then click on the Send Welcome Email button. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.